There are limitless aspects to make up one individual, and even more aspects that are important during the developing stages of teenhood. Music, being one of the numerous contributors to one's persona, embodies the perfect person, in a matter of speaking. A music artist is tailored and trained to fit a certain description that aligns with different types of values and beliefs. Thus, we find that music instills a set of these values in the minds of young adults. Nick Fisher explains his take on whether music shaped who he is or if music expresses who he is. Mike never tried to rap like Pac. Pac never tried to sing like Mike. Rap Drake in his song 4 p.m. in Calabasas. We all possess an affinity to those who have found themselves. The reason adolescence brings along with it an intense flood of musical interest is this. Teenagers, such as myself, witness the embodiment of an identified persona. Music artists thrive in the music business by bringing something new to an age-old table. Whether it's through aesthetics, sound, or values, all popular musicians have a distinctive appearance. How would you describe me? Um, good. As a growing boy entrapped by the stresses of teenhood, I tried to find solitude in knowing myself, knowing what I enjoy to think about or do. What have I been interested in? Tennis. Physics. Writing. Equality for people. Playing. Chilling. Mama loving. <laughs> Family. Nature. However, my interests have come and gone, remained and then still remained. But the decisions that I make with regards to my interests are the ones that sculpt who I am. But still, I wonder, why is it I do what I do? It's part of who you are. It's just your personality traits. I mean, if we're looking aside from your biology and um, instinct, then it's personality, temperament, and sometimes sugar highs or sugar lows, and social influences, such as what you learn at school, people you meet, things you watch on TV. We are ever-changing. No one is permanently found, at least not in adolescence. Growth is a period where we enter a void of quote-unquote blank darkness until we find the threshold that we may cross to find who we strive to be. Each age is new and different, as my mom tells it. When you animate a cartoon, you have a whole bunch of different slices in time. Well, that's kind of like your life. There are a whole bunch of slices in time, and they all make the whole, and you can't I can't separate them all any. They're all good and bad and difficult and wonderful. I don't always display the clearest values, but from what I've seen, that's part of having a pure objective. Your quote-unquote values must be genuine in your own eyes before they are in others. What are some obstacles I've faced? Focus management, attention hypersensitivity. Nevertheless, I solve these obstacles. You have not overcome them. You are, um, with help, we're working to find the skills, the tools to manage these obstacles. Or not. Music is not my sculptor, but instead how I choose to listen to the world around me. Therefore, who I am is a product of the environment I choose to create. This concludes our interview, but I'll just leave it open to you. Is there anything else you'd like to say for the record about who I am? Who you are, um, besides good and all that stuff, is um, uh, you just have a good heart, Nick. You have a really good heart, and you try really hard to do the right thing in school and in life and um, you know I think that that is something that you should nurture and continue to do and, and that's really all I want to say thank you that sounds good Kiko do you want to say anything okay I'll take that as a no thank you both the Beatles once sang you say goodbye, and I say hello. I'm Nick Fisher, and until the next time, hello and goodbye.